Hey guys and welcome back to Sparkle Me Pink. My name is Michelle and today I'm going to be showing you how to turn a candle such as this one from Bath and Body Works into a Q-tip holder or a cotton wound holder. That's I already made one a couple weeks ago and I have been meaning to turn this one into one to hold my Q-tips. Like, so I have something cute to play out on my bathroom counter. So I'm gonna show you how to do that. And I also have a couple of other candles that I need to uh, depot, as you wanna call it. So there's plenty of wax at the bottom. And then I have these Scentsy things. And I can use the wax from the bottom of my candles, which would normally just be thrown out in my warmer. So it's like double awesomeness. So I'm gonna show you how to do that. Let's get started. So when it comes to the container, sometimes mine get these black marks here. So what I do is just take a little bit of rubbing alcohol and a paper towel, and then just wipe out all of the gunk. And while I'm doing this, I have a pot on the stove with boiling water, and that is what we're going to use to depot the wax out of the bottom of the candles. So now that our candles are all cleaned up and looking pretty and ready to be depotted, I laid down a towel on my table to protect it a little bit more and I'm going to lay out the candles here. All right, so I have our pot of boiling water and I'm going to pour it into each of the candles very carefully and putting just enough water to get past the wick. This one's a little bit bigger, so I'm gonna put a little bit more. The bigger candles I put a little bit more so I don't have to reach down so far. And I love doing this when the kids are home. They're not here today, but I've done this before with them because it looks like a really cool science experiment as it's melting. And see, it makes the wax rise to the top and then we're gonna let them cool. It's seriously the coolest thing ever. Such a nerd. It's like watching a lava lamp. Look, I got a little one from a Yankee Candle over here. And that way we're not wasting any of the wax either. And I'm reusing the jar. Watching the wax melt. This one you can see really good because it was dark. And don't forget that these are filled with boiling hot water, guys. I've forgotten a few times myself. That one's getting a lot of wax in it. So cool, it takes some time, so be patient. It must be warm in here because this is taking longer than it usually does and you can tell that it's not ready. Well, it was just jiggling or it's not like, see that? It's not ready to come out, it's not totally solid yet. We have to wait until it's totally solidified. Okay, so now that the um, wax is totally solidified, I usually just stick my finger in one side and plop it out. And now I could just keep these in a Ziploc bag and use them in my wax warmers, like my Scentsy. So let's do this big one. Let me get this here. Like seriously, look at all that wax I would have just thrown out if I threw out the candle. This is totally usable. Even this tiny little baby one. Let's do the baby one. I don't know how I'm gonna, I should have been smarter and made it go all the way up to this small section. That was not smart. So I'm gonna have to break it. Wah, wah. There we go. Okay, so now that we dumped out the water, I just got my very fancy dancy butter knife here and I'm gonna just go in and pop out the wick area. Looks like that. There's a little bit of residue left in the bottom of the candle, so I usually just run these through the dishwasher or I hand wash them or just try to scrape out as much of the gunk as possible and then clean it out and then it's good to go. It should just peel up, especially if you're letting it sit in the water for a good while to cool down. It'll loosen up any of the glue that was holding on the wick area. Also, sometimes I leave the labels, sometimes I peel them off. It kind of just depends on what I'm using it for. All right, so 
this one was the one that I'm doing my main project with so I went ahead and just scraped off the bottom with the butter knife the bottom label that was there peeled off the one that was on the side under the running water because it was a little bit easier and then just cleaned out the whole thing with um, Dawn dish soap or whatever detergent you have with my handy dandy little smiley sponge this is one of those like it's not normal sponge material. I, I can't remember because this was given to me as a, like a gift set. There was like four different ones at Christmas time. But seriously, these little spongy things are amazing and non-abrasive because they're not metal. It's like plastic. It's weird. Anyways, so let's go ahead and get this filled up with, oh my gosh, as I almost break it. All of this work for nothing. Uh, I have the lid here. I'm going to leave the label on here because I just think that's super cute. And the design on this top is just... Ah! I have my new package of Q-tips. That's what inspired me to kind of get my butt going on these. Because I've had these collecting in the closet for so long. Logan's like, when are you going to get them done? I'm just a procrastinator. Okay, so. Go ahead and fill this up. Let's put the top on it and now it's ready to be displayed on my bathroom counter. I've also made one of these to hold my um, cotton rounds for when I do my nails. I just keep this with my nail kit and now I have my little bit more fancier version for on my bathroom counter. I've seen people put labels on here and paint these really cool colors. I haven't had the guts to kind of branch out and do that just yet, but I wanted to show you how easy this was and how fun it is to turn our old candles into cool new creations so let me know if you do this project or what you create if you post any pictures be sure to tag me i want to see them and get inspired by how you use your old candles i thank you so much for watching this and i hope you found it helpful if you have any tips maybe there's some way to make any of the steps that i was doing a little bit easier be sure to comment down below or email me and i will do an updated version of this i really appreciate hearing feedback from you guys all right so i think that's it thank you so much for watching be sure to follow Follow me on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and Snapchat. Check out my blog at sparklemepink.com, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!